morning guys. I know that my YouTube channel is usually about sailing and I do a lot of time showing you the sailing life of the actual sailing, like raising, lowering, the actual sailing stuff. But this cruising life is not only sailing. Like the cruising life is sometimes you get to great anchorages, great beaches, great snorkeling, and you get to explore sort of exotic land life. Right now we're in Georgetown of the Exumas and around the corner is like I showed you it's just it's the very famous beach bar called the Chat and Chill. It's a famous cruiser hangout bar in the Bahamas that because the culture of the cruisers is so cool the tourists wanted to hang out with the cruisers and then they built resorts and started bringing in tourists by the boatload which then drove up the prices and ruined it for the cruisers but it's still a great anchorages anchorage so cruisers hang out here but it's more touristy than anything but it has become world famous talked it over with my crew and the teddy bears and we've decided that we want to go to the chat and chill pig roast this afternoon first come first serve 25 bucks a plate it'll be interesting and time on the beach and I'm always happy to lay in the hammock and read a book so let's go do the typical touristy kind of thing because we're here and that's what there is to see so like why are we going to the chat and chill because it's fun and I really miss food that other people make for me <laughs> that will be nice get other people to cook for us and then we get to chill out on the beach because we've been on the boat quite a while and meeting some of Lucky's friends are we good? That's what we're doing. We load everything into the dinghy ready for our land adventure. Launching the dinghy can be a lot of work and it takes both of us working together to be able to do it safely. With each of us either side of the davit lines, we slowly lower the dinghy into the water, making sure not to go too fast. The dinghy is pretty heavy, so it takes a lot of teamwork to be able to do this properly. We haven't started the dinghy engine yet today, and after spending hours of fixing it over the last couple of days, we both have our fingers and toes crossed that it's going to work. And of course, all land adventures begin with the launching of the dinghy, which we have medium confidence in today. The dinghy ride is always fun because it's so gorgeous out here. However, today both of us have our ears peeled for any funny noises coming from the engine. We definitely still don't trust it and we're both a bit worried that we're going to be rowing back later on. She does great though and we make it to the beach without any problems. This is literally one of the most famous beaches in all of the Bahamas. This is the chat chill at the White Sands Beach off Georgetown. It's a perfect anchorage for cruisers and happens to be a rather lovely spot in tropical warm waters. So it attracts the tourists naturally, but it's still a nice spot. I send Daisy to shore to bury the dinghy anchor as she has been taught. You have to admit, this place is gorgeous. Pee down and, and get it down. Oh, like pretty good. Right down yeah. the, like almost like a resorty style. Yeah, it's very basic. It's like a hundred quid each to do. Maybe. It's a pig roast here on the beach and Miss Daisy is excited to get food that she didn't have to make. Sort of hungry for takeaway you could say. We haven't had fresh veg on the boat in weeks. We're sharing a plate because the food is so expensive. I'm super excited for all the veg and Lexi gets the pig. And this is the 20 or 25 dollar? This is a 25 dollar plate at the pig roast. 
25 US dollars. I'm just saying, people. You pay a lot for the ambience and the atmosphere and the tourists just love being around the cruisers. But most of what you're paying for is definitely not the food. Miss Stacy gets her food, which is her treat, her takeaway food she didn't have to cook. But I'm not here for the food. I'm here because I know that there are some trees I can string my hammock in, lay in the hammock and read a book. For me, this is just paradise. The stingrays are amazing to see. They're huge, super friendly, and they come right up to your toes. You can even feed them by hand. Conch dishes, which is a type of sea snail, is a Bahamian delicacy. The locals that prepare them throw the scraps back into the water, and this attracts all the rays. We're a little bit cautious about letting our children venture forth from the boat. We wouldn't want them to get lost or covered in sand, but we thought the teddy bears might appreciate this time off the boat, so we took them out to paradise with us. Even teddy bears could use a break from the sailing life. Teddy bears, of course, are not dogs, so they don't need to be kept on a leash, and the good news is for us, we never have to scoop their poop. There's a really relaxed vibe here, with lots of picnic tables, tree swings, volleyball and other little games. This is the famous signpost outside the Chat and Chill bar, where homesick cruisers posted driftwood signs pointing to home. The Chat and Chill bar opened in 1988 for the cruisers who called Elizabeth Harbour their home. It was such a cool place to hang out that it began attracting the dirt dwellers and became more and more touristy. I love the laid-back feel of the place, and I got to try their famous rum-based cocktail called a Goombay Smash. I'm not sure I prefer it to our usual private beaches, but it's definitely nice to be able to get a meal and a cocktail. Inside the cute wooden shack bar, tourists and cruisers have hung personalised t-shirts and boat cards all over it. The Chat and Chill in Georgetown is very famous and wildly popular. You can see why, white sand beaches and everything that you quintessentially think about when you think of tropical vacations. But it is crowded and it is full of tourists. If you come away from the crowds a little bit, you can see that the girls a wild child set up the hammock and have a nice quiet corner to themselves. Happy Mermaid playing in tropical waters. Happy Daisy. And in paradise we find happy Captain Lexi in her hammock. 